Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. Here we are at JR Fukaya Station in Saitama, Japan. It is lovely and quaint looking. Definitely one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Next to the station, we have this beautiful park with the pond, a little bit of wildlife here, and we're going to be stalking some of it. Here we have this little fella just kind of hunting. He's deep in the hunt, as a matter of fact, and his hunting is for survival. The kind of hunting that we do is to fulfill our retro dreams, and we're going to be joining him in the hunt here pretty soon, but not here. And especially not at Gale, although Gale is not too bad of a shop. And this is actually one of the bigger ones that I've seen, but it's going to be across the street at the hard off in the hunt is the name of the game. Let's go ahead and go inside. And here we have a display case and we got some PlayStation 5s and these things really stick out. 45,000 looks like it's uh, is the least expensive one. Down below, we have a Sega Mega Drive for 10,000 yen, and that thing is not too bad looking, actually. And then up above, or on top of that, we got some SG-1000 titles coming in at 3,500 yen for that shooter-looking game. And this one seems to be Sanded Mystery, I believe. And then behind that, we have a Pro Controller with the Famicom, or Super Famicom Mini. And here is the deal. We got a PC Engine Duo, 17,600 yen. It includes everything, including the box. Now, by comparison, in Akihabara, 35,800 yen. If you're not looking too hard, that's what you could expect to be paying. And if you're looking to find a deal, consider Retro Rewire Game Tours. Got to do my little plug here. And this is going to be in Akihabara as well as other parts of Japan. So definitely get a hold of me if you're, look, if you're trying to get specific hardware, specific games, um, and all that madness, all that great, all the good stuff that comes with game hunting. And I am available, so just send me a message off of my Facebook page and we'll definitely be deep in the hunt to get your retro dreams fulfilled. And here are the fruits of the previous tour that I gave. And we got everything that he was looking for and that was really cool to, to be a part of that hunt. But 8,800 yen for a top loader here. It doesn't. It only includes one controller, but still, that's not a bad price. Then behind that, we have some AES titles, and we got Samurai Shodan One and Two, which is pretty much your standard stuff. So if you have a Neo Geo AES, you definitely want to have uh, the most common titles in your collection, and they're definitely great games that still hold up today. And then back we have our PS5s here, uh, 59,000 uh, complete in the box, which is a little bit high. And then we got some Ultraman 3 business. Let's continue with the hardware here. Here is another display case. And that's one thing about this shop that I really like is the merchandising, the way they had it was a little bit different than what I was, uh, than what I'm used to seeing. And then down below, we have some switch. Uh, we have a couple of switches, 27,500 yen and 29,800 yen for the one in the back. We got our PS2 Slims different varieties looks like they're all 7,000 models and then we have this 360 and I got to be honest I have no idea what this game could be possibly Halo Reach property of UNC United uh, Space Coalition maybe and then we have a Monster Hunter World uh, PS4 in the back and then we have this beauty the PS1 with the screen and then we have an early PS4 limited edition for Final Fantasy Type O or Type 0 24,200 yen that thing is mean looking but I do like that PS1 combo. I have a few PS1s, but I definitely want to get that screen. Here we have a shell, and then behind that we have a Virtua Stick coming in at 3,300 yen. It is in the box. And the thing to look, up, to look out for this is you definitely don't want to get the OSCE one because that one is a little bit stiff, the stick. And then just kind of nestled away here, tucked away, we got a variety of PlayStation 3 consoles, both the Slim, the Super Slim, and then a whole lot of PlayStation 4 in the display case. Look at that. And there's another, I believe, another PlayStation 5 tucked away back there for 40,000. And all sorts of all sorts of different models here. And then we also have some Nintendo Switch business for 26,950 with the neon green controllers. And then here is their social media if you're interested in following them. Definitely feel free to do so. They got the Twitter and the Gram. And let's just go ahead and continue off or continue on in the junk section here. Now this junk section was actually fairly small, but I do like it. Uh, I do like that they kind of separated it away from the main junk section. So all the gaming goods are going to be found here. And here we have a Namco stick by Hori. Looks like it's Tekken themed. And then we got all sorts of other knickknacks for the PlayStation 4. Don't uh, definitely don't uh, overestimate the junk section because you know this is a great place to find some. Uh, Sometimes some obscure controllers. There's a number of controllers that I found in here that were actually 
pretty cool looking and definitely not normal like the the little hoary um, uh, PS1 mini controller here we have another mini controller but I believe that's for the switch kind of an interesting color and then there's stuff like this if you're looking for like Game Boy Advance link cables and you want to have it kind of more complete this is coming in at 990 yen and that's the first time I've seen it in the box usually it's just a loose cable and then of course you can expect to see a lot of your st your Wii the Wii sold like crazy and you're gonna see a lot of that but look at this we have a card reader for the N64 in the box never used one of those and honestly I don't have too much interest but um, if that's up your alley here we have a gun con 2 for the PlayStation 2 now it doesn't include the box and typically these are pretty pricey like in uh, I've seen them go up for like 2,000 yen but here we can see that it's 330 yen but I guess pricing on those is kind of all over the map but let's go ahead and make our way down the game aisle and they had some pretty good well before we go down the game aisle, I almost forgot about the junk hardware. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here. In fact, I picked up one item here. And it's going to be this bad boy. I posted this on my social media a little while ago. But this thing is awesome. And I wasn't really... I've seen other uh, Super Famicom cases. But I've never seen them th that of that size. And I definitely want to get another one. Because I am filling it up with a bunch of uh, shooters for the, uh, the Super Famicom. Here we have some 360s. What else do we have? A stack of PS1s. Now, I do like looking through these because uh, I think now, you know, kind of messing around with the different models of the PlayStation 1, I'm definitely uh, looking out for the 9000 series. Those seem to be the most reliable and run the coolest, which is pretty much a PS1 um, mini in the PlayStation original case. If you open those things up, like half of it is just air. It's all empty. But it looks like a lot of them um, were 5,000 and 7,000 models. And coming in at 440 yen, that's still peanuts. That's nothing. And then next to that, we got a PS1 for 3,300 yen. Two controllers, and it looks like all the cables there. And it could be untested or a little issue there. And then we got a PC engine. Look at that, 4,400 yen, and it still retains its uh, most of its brilliance there. And then we got one of the fantastic N64s for 8,800 yen, and it looks like it does have a controller. And then here we are down the game aisle now in the display case. And I gotta, I gotta say, this is the way to merchandise because it's so easy to browse. And uh, you know, sometimes there's like, uh, like these deep shelves, and you can't really see what's back there, especially when they stack stuff on top. But definitely got to give props here to the, to the Harda Fukaya crew for merchandising it in this way as it's really it's really the way to go but we got our super famicom titles here we got some mother 2 coming in at 4500 we got uh the legend of gaia or illusion of gaia for 6900 yen 7000 for rockman x3 then below that what do we have parodius or sexy parodius one of the two and then we have puzzle bobble for 3200 we have uh, Chomakai Mura, which is a great game, and then X2 down below for 2,500 yen. And the little tag says that the game's not in there, and they just kind of have that behind the counter. And then what do we have here? We got a couple of loose cards for a, an assortment of uh, portable systems. And I want to say with uh, portable gaming, my library has grown not necessarily with software but with hardware so, and that really opens the doors you're really going down the rabbit hole with more hardware the more hardware that you get i'm not sure what this game is but it, it, it did look interesting a crocodile with white boots it's kind of interesting and then we have parodius for the game boy I had no idea that got a release and then we got uh some other games that i haven't seen before which is always nice we got some Zelda there, one of the Seasons games. And we got Metroid 2 for 2,500, 2,200. That's about what I paid for mine, for my loose cart. And then we got this Samurai Spirits. Now, this is the, there's two of them. And I think this is the second release for 1,700 yen. Uh, definitely want to pick that one up at one point. But a Game Gear, I, I definitely added a Game Gear in the last few weeks to the collection. So I'm definitely wanting to add a few Game Gear titles. Here we have Street, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. For the PC Engine, we have Gunsmoke for the disc system. Next to that, we have Risa Tachibana. I'm not really sure what that could be. And then, what else do we have here? I've heard about this game. I forget the name, but it's like some kind of mystery title, if I remember correctly. And then Castlevania 2, Akumajo Dracula 2 for 6,000 yen. And then we have uh, Doki Doki Panic, I believe. Doki Doki Panic, I forget. 
and then next to that for 1000 or 13000 yen we have Klonoa Midnight Museum and then we have The Legend of Zelda for 5000 yen now i just want to quickly add that there was a book off in Fukaya on the on the opposite side of the station that i went to i went to it after this place and i did pick up a disc system uh, a couple games which was Akumajo Dracula and that was also if you're out here you know, you can definitely hit up the hard off, the gale, and that book off. And that book off is fairly large and it had a decent selection. I ran out of battery, otherwise, I would have filmed there. But let's just continue on with the show. We got Wonder Swan. That's another little handheld that I added. And that Swan Col Coliseum, that's definitely one that I would like to add to my collection. It looks like it's a, a one piece uh, 2D fighter and it looks pretty cool. What else do we have here? We got some Game Boy Pokemon business. Uh, we got some Dragon Quest for the Famicom. Some PS1 titles and PS2. Uh, SNK versus Capcom SBC Chaos. We got Twilight uh, Zelda Twilight Princess for 5000 That's going to be for the cube, it looks like. And I'm not sure what this could be for 2300 yen. We got the Game Boy Player Disc for 3500 Top Players Golf for the Neo CD. And then here's one that I haven't seen before, and this is going to be for the Sega Saturn. Look at this, for 7,000 yen, and it says not for sale. And then here on the side, it's Super Kading. I haven't heard of that one before. I wonder if it's a rare one, but they do have it there for 7,000. We got uh, Baseball Stars Professional for the Neo CD. Uh, what is this? I'm not really sure what that title is, but next to that we got some Rival Schools action for 4,000 yen. That's actually the lowest that I've seen it in quite a long time. And then we have Dracula X Rondo of Blood for the PC Engine. Now the little tag says that it's uh, slightly scratched for 18,000 yen. Now does that include the OB card? I'm not really sure. But uh, usually if it does, they usually have it up uh, in a visible spot. But sometimes they don't. I, I, I better be careful what I say there. <laughs> But here we got some more uh, loose Famicom cards. We got 2,000 yen for Super Metroid, which they also had in the loose section. So not sure why they also had it here. But we have Combat Tribes there for 1,900 by uh, Technos. And then Estopolis, which I believe is Lufaya 2 in the West. And then here we have Contra Spirits. Look at this for the Famicom, 30,000 yen. This is a pricey game, but it looks like it is complete. Next to that, we have Gradius, Gradius, Gradius for two for 7,500 yen. And then up above, we have Castlevania 64 and its uh, quasi sequel or pre prequel for 3,000 yen. That's another one that I've never seen it that low. So that was pretty cool to see that. Uh, we got uh, Mighty Final Fight for 7,000, a couple of Mega Man games for 1,000 and 3,000, respectively. We have Fire and a couple of Fire Emblem games too for the Famicom. So not a bad selection here. Uh, what else do we have here? Nothing, nothing that really catches my attention. Of course, you know, we have Sonic the Hedgehog for 1,300. And it looks like that could be the only loose Mega Drive uh, title there that they have. Or I think they have a Columns there. Yeah, it looks like Columns and then Castle of Illusion. So they do have a, a couple of, or a few Mega Drive games. Then we have Macross for the Famicom. I wonder how that one is. I recently picked it up for su for the Super Famicom Scrambled Val Valkyrie, and that is an awesome game. Highly recommended, although it does come at a hefty price. But here are our loose Super Famicom carts. And then the first one that I pull out, Street Fighter Zero or Alpha 2, coming in at 2,000 yen. That, this game has gone up in price lately, and it's usually hovering like around the 3,000 mark. So not too bad of a price there. Not really sure what this is, but it's coming in at 300 yen. Then we got some Super Scope 6 action for 300 yen, which is also compatible with the NES or the Super Nintendo mouse. And then we got some uh, SD Gundam chibi stuff, it looks like. So all sorts of cool looking uh, or some cool titles in here. We have X3 for 1,500 yen. That's not too bad of a price. What else do we have? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for 900. Had I no idea that that got a Super Famicom release. Here we have Final Fight 2 for 800 yen. That's actually not too bad of a price at all. Pretty good deal there. And then we have another copy of X3 for slightly lower for 1,300 yen. And a sequel to something for 300 yen. What else do we have here? The original X for 700 yen. That's actually a pretty good deal. Sometimes you could find it cheaper, but... You know how it goes. Here we have uh, the Zelda and another copy of Metroid for 2,000 yen. 
Let's go ahead and make our way into the N64 titles. And they only had one row, but what they did have were some pretty, uh, you know, solid titles. You're pretty much going to find all your first party stuff as well as the Goemon games. Look at this, 400 yen, 1,500 yen for Great Adventure. And then the board game, which I've never played, is coming in at 1,000 yen. So they have all three in stock. And then they also have uh, Banjo-Kazooie 2 for 500 yen. Definitely not a bad price. And they had more in there. You know, you could your Star Fox, your Mario Party games, and all that good stuff. And here they also had more buckets of loose games. And we're not going to focus too much on it just because uh, it's just going to be the stuff that you would expect to find in here. Just kind of like Star Fox, Star, <laughs> Star Fox and Super Mario Kart. And then here we have uh, Super Mario Land 2. Not too bad of a price there. We got um, some Sonic Adventure 2 for the GameCube. What else do we have? Super Street Fighter 2 for 1,400 yen. That's not too bad of a price. I should have picked that one up. But usually it's missing the manual every time I find it. Here's Darius Twin coming in at 2,200 yen. I recently picked this one up. I got it at Super Potato for loose cart only for 700 yen. And I'm perfectly fine with a, a loose cart. Here we have Super Mario Bros. 4 for 1,000. Definitely love this classic cover and this is a great game. And then 800 yen for Super Mario Kart in the box. And that looks like it's in pretty good condition. But they had more. Look at this, 500 yen in the box. The box is a little bit more beat up, but if you want the, the box, that's definitely not a bad price at all. 800 yen for Star Fox 64. This is one of my favorite shooters. Love that game, especially on the 3DS. We, we have Ocarina of Time here. What else do we have? Super Mario 64 with the rumble features, as well as a, a few other like voice sampling from the North American copy. 1,500 yen for Banjo-Kazooie and then the sequel coming in at 2,500 yen and you just saw the loose cart 500 yen so there's definitely options there. Let's go ahead and make our way down the main aisle here and we got some PSP, Sega Saturn, a couple of Dreamcast and Neo Geo AES titles next to some CD titles there. A whole lot of uh, Samurai Spirits. It's crazy how much those uh, part 1 and 2 sold but they're great games. Then we have Metal Slug Double X for the PSP coming in at 6,500 yen. This is also available on the DS and it's known just as a Metal Gear or Metal Gear Metal Slug 7. And then here we have Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 for 400 yen. I believe there was a new game that recently came out for modern consoles. I think it's like a, a remaster remake type of thing. And I wonder if it's any good. It was kind of like a it didn't seem it didn't seem to make too much noise. Maybe more like a Maybe not as popular now, I'm not really sure. Or maybe I'm just so deep in the retro game. But here we have Persona 3. The PSP is such a great uh, little machine, especially for role-playing games. We got the Legend of Heroes, like a limited edition pack with the, with the soundtrack included there. And all sorts of PSP stuff down below. Look at that copy of Halo for the original Xbox, 300 yen. And they did have a few, a, l a tiny little bit of uh, Xbox in general. What do we have? Soul Cal 5. We have Lost Odyssey. This is a great game. 300 yen. And this is one of the ones that will play in 4K if you have like one of the newer uh, Xbox machines. We have KOF 94 kind of hanging out with the Saturn games and Dreamcast games down below. They got the Dream Passport. And we got Street Fighter 0 2 for 1,400 yen. That one's seeing a slow rise before you could find that game for like 100, 200 yen. What else do we have here? The Mansion of Hidden Souls for 300 yen. I wonder if this is any good. I believe that also got a North American release, but I never played it. We got Virtua Cop 2 for 600. Now, this is Bomberman, Saturn Bomberman, I believe. And then we have the original Virtua Cop for 500. What else do we have here? A Pachinko game. Another copy of Virtual Cop, and then we have, what is this, uh, Tokyo Battle, Tokyo Highway Battle, something like that. And then we have Solo Crisis. Look at this, 1,300 yen. Now, this could be some kind of like simulation game. It, it seems kind of interesting, but don't know too much about it. And that's like another pachinko girly type game. And then we have Hat Trick Hero S for 1,400 yen. Definitely, I, I should have picked that one up. That one's been on kind of my, my radar for the last few months. And then we have R4. Now, the cool thing about their PlayStation selection is they had a number of racing games, which we're going to see here. And it wasn't all just Ridge Racer 4, although I will show a few copies there. 
uh, and we'll show that here in a sec but we have biohazard 2 for 110 yen that's not bad at all and that's usually the the standard price for uh for biohazard there or especially the sequel and then we have dino crisis coming in at 220 this is one that i could never really get into i didn't play it back in the back in its prime but something about it the dinosaur things uh, wasn't really doing it for me what else do we have here we got a ps playstation 2 title this is devil may cry uh, 3 the special edition now the special edition does include full english language support so that's definitely one to consider but that one's also available you know uh in high def we got a uh, gun survivor 2 there we got x8 for 1500 yen that one's also available on most modern platforms what else do we have inuyasha for the ps2 1900 yen it's a great cartoon back in the day on the old toonami not really sure what this is but look at that cover that's some serious artwork definitely dig it looks like it's some kind of strategy role-playing game then we have god of war for 900 but let's go ahead and go back to the ps1 titles and we'll take a look at these racing games here in a sec but just kind of combing it over so you guys can uh, get an idea although the section was small they had quite a bit of uh they had quite the selection i was uh i was impressed to say the least and then here we have what is this the parodius uh, deluxe pack not too bad of a price there this is one that's uh, it's fairly common for 3000 yen and then look at this we have kingsfield look at that the legacy that this game has left 2400 game uh 400 yen and it spawned uh, the souls games this is i've never actually played kingsfield but that's definitely one that i would like to to play at one point then we got dragon ball z ultimate battle 22 this was like my first import game although i got it on sega saturn this was uh or coming in at 500 yen it's not bad but it's also not the best but let's go ahead and do a little blitz on these racing games look at that we got ridge racer rage racer for 800 it's a great racing game and then we have this simple series uh toyota haven't heard of i haven't seen this one before so this one could be good we got side by side special 2000 by taito for 1200 yen i definitely would like to uh, try that at one point we got ridge racer revolution what else do we have option tuning car battle this could be like a drag racing game and then we have this greatest 70s uh racing game look at this i haven't heard of this one before but it looks like it could feature a lot of classic cars and a lot of tuning options then we got zero two for 1000 yen i definitely prefer the cover on the playstation one it's the same cover but it's just more it's showing more and then we got this atlas business what else do we have here tomb raider 3 for 400 yen i'm currently playing through part two haven't beat hadn't beat haven't beaten it before but here we have tekken this is another uh, genre that they were that they had quite a bit of fighting games you know kof 98 and we got some fishing uh business here i haven't heard of this one before but it seems kind of this one could be fun could be simple and fun maybe like a educational type of game and then we got some uh pop idol groups uh dancing or rhythm game and then we have uh um jammer lammy i do like the 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 packaging here it kind of does look like a, a vinyl uh, record release little mini one then we got soul edge for 300 and next to that we have tekken 2 for 300 yen and they also had tekken 3 for 300 yen so a lot of great fighting games here this one i've seen before and i believe this little guy was like the mascot for for a while and then we have a uh, monster farm 2 we got the namco uh museum volume 2 some rockman x3 for 3500 yen what else do we have uh gun bullet for 300 yen i wonder if that's compatible with the mouse we got silent hill for 1900 yen now this one has full english uh voices we got ray storm for 1400 yen with the obi card that's definitely worth it and it looks to be in great condition bust the move what else do we have jumping flash 2 for 800 that's another uh quality title we got some uh crash racing uh breath of fire 4 and then this virtual golf simulation by konami this could be this could be good konami was producing some uh awesome titles back in the day and every now and then they churn one out can't deny them 
and then here we have our PlayStation 2 stuff or more more PlayStation 2 and then we'll just kind of take a quick look here at the bins good old PlayStation 2 and then here's initial D for 1,300 yen that's definitely on the lower end for this game and it's been one that I've been wanting for quite some time and then we have the Gregory Horror Show have never heard of this look at this it has like this Minecraft type of vibe to it and then we got some ps3 we got the the doom and diablo stuff we got some playstation 4 look at this biohazard re4 7,000 yen now this is the used price and what's crazy is that um here's the the vanilla the vanilla release but biohazard 4 the remake it's actually more expensive on the ps4 than on the ps5 dance dance revolution there for the n64 with the pad for 2,500 and then what do we have here I uh, have no idea what that could be. And then we have some Kingdom Hearts business here. The Trinity Master Pieces. Have no idea what that's about. But still cool to see. And then here we have our Nintendo handhelds. Let's just pull a few of these games out to get an idea of what they got. Super Mario Bros. for 500 yen. That's usually uh, it's about right. We got Biohazard for 1,400. That's a great game. Uh, we got Professor Layton, I believe. And then what do we have here? Paper Mario for a thousand. And then our Switch stuff. Some decent titles there for the Switch. We got Kaiman, Kaiman Rider, Memory of Heroes, Onimusha. I'd rather have the original because they, they changed the music on that remaster. And then we have Live Alive. We got Anonymous Code for 3,000 yen. And then we got some Pokemon action here. And then we got our Wii titles. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's definitely more to come, so stay tuned. And I guess I'll catch you all very, very soon. Ciao.